What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be playing Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. I think that that's uh, Mommy Longlegs hand right there twitching. Pretty sure we're going to have a run in with her at some point. With Poppy now free, the situation begins to change rapidly while you search for any way to escape the factory. Oh my gosh, Mommy Longlegs commercial? <laughs> it's like the itsy bitsy spider remix she's like whispering wake up in my ears when you're having fun she's having fun the new mommy long legs so is this supposed to be a dream what's the time someone's whispering wake up in my ears you know what? That might have been Poppy that was whispering that. Yeah, I think it's... You can kind of see her face coming in right now. Hello, Poppy. Kind of creepy, but... I don't think Poppy's supposed to be creepy. Or is she? Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. All right, well, here we are. This is Poppy's room where we l released her out of her cage back in chapter one. It's been a while, Poppy. Yes, it definitely has. Oh, this is cool. Let's see, grab pack. We got left arm, right arm, all right. How about sprint? Oh yeah, we're probably gonna have to do that at some point. Now, when we left off at chapter one, this was covered. This door was. So I would assume we're going to have to move that. Or we're going to have to open the door. Does this open? How do I... Oh, yeah. that. Oh, it opens back into the toy factory. Cool. Okay. And now this is all blocked off with, like, f uh, furniture? Toy boxes or something? So that's, I think, where we came in from the factory. We initially... Came into Poppy's little dollhouse. Dollhouse. That door's locked. That door's locked. Where you at, Poppy? Elliot Ludwig. So Elliot Ludwig, I believe, is the founder of Poppy Playtime. Oh my gosh, Boogie Bot! What happened, dude? I didn't even know you had blood in you. You're just a toy. Whoa! Something crazy. Definitely happened down here. All right. Well, uh, that room is red. This looks like we're supposed to go in it. The big bright red door. Elliot Ludwig's office, maybe. Oh, I hear. I think I hear Poppy. So, I think we're well, yeah we're not gonna be able to go down here. I don't think. But there's like propelling in this. I believe. I don't really know how to do it. Oh, you just... Oh, you let go. Okay, I definitely did that wrong. Let's try that again. Let's try it the right way. So we jump, let go, and then let go again. All right, very nice. That's such a cool new feature, dude. What do we got here? Huggy Wuggy? <laughs> oh, jeez, they did. Give me a big squeeze. Give me a big squeeze. Yeah, I think you would bite me, Huggy. He sounds like Barney. Huggy? What was that? Alright, I think he I think he's just gonna keep repeating that. Now why do I need to move these boards? Do, do I have to keep pressing him? A big I I won't All right, buddy. Oh, there's a door right here. We probably have to move this. Can we? I've completely forgot that the grab pack is like the biggest tool in this game. So that definitely helps. Back in chapter one, it was a little confusing until you really got the hang of it. There we go. Get out of my way. Oh, look at that key. We're gonna need that. Yeah, put that in our inventory. 
Okay, so this key is the only thing in our inventory. Pretty obvious what that's gonna go to, right? How do I just get out of... There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's gonna go to Elliot Ludwig's room. Alright, I don't think we need to know any of this stuff. Let me go back there. I just want to see if that door is going to open. Because I don't know how else to get through here. That's such a cool feature. The swinging. It's going to open. There we go. Alright. I like how it's not too complicated yet. Oh. Sorry, Elliot. If you're even alive, I just knocked over all your stuff. He's got like... The brawn dinosaur friend, my best friend, uh, Poppy, thank you, Mr. Ludwig. So this is like fan art from children, maybe? Okay, what are we looking for in here? Probably this. The tape? Yeah! We're probably gonna need that. I don't need that. Whoa, what was that? A statue. What was the other thing we just picked up? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure that we picked up that statue. I'm just making a mess of this dude's room. Oh, the tape. Right. So we're probably going to have to take this. How do we drag it out of our inventory? Oh. Probably with the E button. All right, here we go. First VHS tape. Playtime Co. is the product of a great man by the name of Elliot Ludwig. Divorced, but a family man at heart. His sights were always set on bringing amazing toys to amazing children around the globe. Ludwig spent countless hours in the factory. They keep blurring out his face. Relentlessly in an attempt to continuously innovate and surprise. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. But with so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. toy factory. Ludwig could never be content leaving a project unfinished. But just how did one man come to create such an astounding empire? How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? Hmm. It all began in the fateful year of 19... Okay. It just cut off. That was kind of strange. So is Poppy, like, re resembling his daughter? Like, maybe that's who died? I thought that that might have been a theory, or, like, that was actually a thing. I don't really pay attention to the whole storyline that much. That's cause kind of what I'm getting out of this. Oh, that moves. Let's try to move this down. Oh, okay. He's got his own secret passageway from his office? Why would he need this? Elliot Ludwig. Why you got this secret passageway that just goes down to this area? Oh my oh, gosh, what was that? Sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I was just trying to get the power back on. What? Here. They have her animated like that in this? How cool, dude. What's up, Poppy? Okay. Is she could be like our little helper? I don't remember exactly how these things go. So this is how we power on like everything that needs power. So we have to power it on to that, to like each post. Okay, we got two. They're obviously going to get harder as time goes by. And then we go like that. Oh, she's clapping. Um, I wanted to thank you for freeing me. I was stuck in there for so long. <laughs> Thank you. I'd like to pay you back. All right. There's a train station nearby. It needs a coat. She's just yeah. walking through the the, the tunnel. Poppy, do I need to follow you? I she said that there. Get on up here. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> she sound. She sounded like she had like a southern accent. Um, oh, she's up there! Wow, Puppy! Still a doll. <laughs> oh, oh wait, that's how I get back in there. Okay, so I'm supposed to leave here by swinging up there. And maybe I have to follow her to like... Don't you want to come with me? How do I... You're making oh. Me sad. Hold on, Poppy, don't cry. I know I'm making you sad. Hold on a second. 
Let me figure this out, okay? I'm a little rusty. It's been a while since I played at the toy factory. Oh, I see. Oh, that is so smooth. So you have to click and, like, hold. And you can also do the swing thing. Very nice. I'm definitely going to have to remember that. Hey, I'm up here. Yeah, I can see that. I see you, Poppy. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now we have to open this. Wrong colors. There we go. Gonna have to do a little swing in action again. So far, pretty good. This is this is pretty cool. All right. Do the old swingy. Whoa, I'm not gonna make it. Guys, I died already. All right, so we're gonna grab that. And I'm not gonna let go until right then. Oh, that was close, Poppy. You're already playing games with me and I don't like it. Oh, hi, Poppy. Wait, don't, whoa. It's like a Listen, crazy stutter. I'm don't jump down there. You to trust me. Is that Mommy Long Legs already? She took Poppy. I think I gotta go save her. Poppy, I'm coming in. I'm... I... Okay, I thought I died again. Whoa, bro. Oh, it's like we're in a slide. Cool. I thought I was falling into like a, a black hole. Elliot Ludwig. So look at all these names. Dude. Wait, what? So was that like Elliot Ludwig's like designated floor and then he took the slide down with like all the other employees to to this area oh my gosh this man's got a slide wait what it, oh more power stuff okay let me just whoa what was that let me try to so when i when i touch the power cord it like cuts my arm off it cuts the electricity off. I can't touch those metal poles without cutting off my electricity on my arm. But I need to touch the blue pipe. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to wrap it around here. Oh, and it doesn't cut your arm off when you, like, get really close to the thing. I don't want to cut my arm off on accident. But how am I going to do this now? Wrap it. Wait, 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 wait. We're gonna go like this. Big brain. So the puzzles are getting hard already. Okay. We gotta cross that one pretty... Kind of simple. Not really. <laughs> the game station. So is this where the train station's gonna be? Hopefully. Um... Oh, great, dude. Already? Get out of here. <laughs> oh, I forgot she took Poppy. Mommy heard that Miss Poppy was going to just give you the train code to escape. Yeah, she was. That fun. Instead, why don't we make a game out of it? The game station is still working. It will be just like old times. And if you win all three games, oh I'll my give gosh. You the code. She's <gasps> using her as a puppet. Idea, puppy. Oh, you're going to oh her so eyes turn all black. Fun. Her eyelids. Head to musical memory, and mommy will get things started. Leave little Maybe Poppy alone. Yes, mommy. Where'd she go? Why was she using Poppy as a puppet? Bro, what? My arm broke. Look at my right arm. It's missing. Is that from... I was going to say, how, how can I open that? But it already opened. So my right arm is missing. I don't know if it was from the power or, po or uh, Mommy Longlegs took it. I wasn't paying attention. PJ, the caterpillar, right? PJ Puggo Pillar for ages five and up. Uh, 
What happened to his eyeballs? Alright, we got the whole crew there. We got PJ, Cat B, Boogie Bot, Mommy, Kissy Missy, Huggy, Braun, Cat B. And who's this? Is that a bunny or a dog? I don't know who that is. I don't really want to know who that is. Let me pull this lever down. Because I don't have my right arm. I can't really open doors that have the right handprint on them. So here is the game station. Ooh. <laughs> Sounds like a whoopee cushion. Yeah, we're just gonna... You know what? Can I pull this down? I don't even want to see her face. Yeah, that's what I think about you, mommy. Mommy long legs. Wow. Whack a wuggy. Musical memory. Oh, so this is that... That toy that I don't recognize. I want to say it's a bunny now that I see those really long ears. It looks like he's got like... Those like monkey symbols. Statues. Okay, that's PJ Pugapillar. What's up, Kissy Missy? Preparing for departure in three, two, one. Preparing for departure. <laughs> okay, green. Oh, green handprint. Maybe we're going to have to find one to put onto our, our right arm here. Man, this is so cool. Okay, there's stuff in there. It looks like we might have to go into that train at some point. This thing's beeping. Let's go ahead and pull the lever. Hi, kids. Welcome to the game station. I'm Stella, and we've got three super duper fun games to play. These little tests show us just how crazy strong and smart you are. Follow Mommy Longlegs down the stairs, and we'll start by playing Musical Memory. Oh, we have to play... Bro, these are like mini-games! What? Musical memory, that's gonna be... Oh! I feel like I'm in the squid games right now! What is this? Okay, go down here. I, I don't know where I'm going. Is this the entrance to... Musical... What was it? Musical chairs? I don't... <laughs> I don't remember what I gotta play here. Oh, we got a tape. All right, let me grab that. Let me put the tape in. Should I put it in now or should I do powers? Yeah, I'm gonna put the tape in now. It might have directions. Figuring we need a right arm. And I'm seeing like, I'm seeing green. Kind of makes sense with the green handprint that we saw. Green hand, there we go. Shoot green power outlets. So this is like an upgrade from the red hand we had. Electric charge lasts for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, the charge runs out. When holding electricity, shoot green hand receivers. All right, so it's just like the red one. To temporarily power the other systems. They are on the same timer Lack of caution may result in injury. Okay, so the timer to the doors is the same 10 second timer, I believe, that is going to be on a green hand. Use grab pack responsibly. All right, so is this is this a, a molding room? Is this a hand maker? It's kind of funny because uh, my old job, I worked at a molding manufacturing company. Kind of ironic, huh? So we're... I, I'm a little familiar with how these machines work. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah, we, we got our material, our, our plastic, okay. Then we have to mold and melt the material at a high temperature. Wait, why can't I... Okay, there we go, we got water. Oh no, that's not... Oh, this is broken. No way, bro. We get to bend the pipe. Okay, now that's that that that's fixed. We take our hot our hot liquids, our hot plastic, I guess it would be made out of, or rubber. 
It's gonna go into the actual mold. And then it's gonna heat up. Hey, I told you guys this is what I used to do for a career back in the day. <laughs> it's actually kinda, kinda fun. So we about to mold our own hand, dude? Okay, these are the molds. The mold is complete. Now, what is this? Oh, the green coloring. It's like the dye. No paint in the machine. What's all that noise? All these lights just turned on back here. I'm trying to, like, speed through this as much as I can. Just because this game, I believe it's, like, more than twice as long as the original or something like that. Okay, this is blinking. Is that a can of paint? Maybe we have to put the can of paint inside of that machine. Yeah, don't be falling off the conveyor. I don't want paint to spill everywhere. Oh my gosh, that is it. So that's the paint machine. It's gonna drip it onto the mold as soon as we press this button again. Let's go. Okay, we're making the molds, and now what's the final step? To package it? I don't need to package it, I need to put it on my hand. Maybe the conveyor will start? Yeah. This is so neat. Oh, right arm. Maybe? Grab it? Oh, grab it, okay. Nice. I got my hand back! Cool, now we get to do this power thing, right? Is this gonna be like super tricky? Or can I test it out first? Okay, so we, we hold a charge, whoa. And then this is on a timer, right? Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Gives you a little warning and then that'll close on you and you will get completely oofed if you run out of time. Okay, that's gonna be closed. What I really enjoy about the way that they made these games, I'm pretty sure even for this one, I would assume, is that there's not like all these different paths that you have to try to guess. Like it kind of leads you into the correct spots. I know when your birthday is. Oh, this is the- June 28th. <laughs> June 28th, you're two days off, dude. That's creepy. Mine's June 26th. Make a wish. Happy birthday. Yeah, I don't want you visiting me on June 26, okay? Oh, happy birthday. Oh, happy, happy birthday. <laughs> oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, he's gotta be a bunny, because look at those teeth. I know when your birthday is. All right, buddy. June 28th. June 28th. <laughs> Wrong again. Oh, what is this? Um... Hi, that's him. Is this that game? I completely forgot about the game, Welcome dude. Welcome to Musical Memory. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain, allowing uh. us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. I wonder if this is gonna be like Simon. A sequence of colors will be shown, and you must recreate the exact sequence yep. using the buttons around you. All right. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. Oh. When you complete a color pattern correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. Bunzo? When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. No. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. Oh. The test will become more difficult as it continues, with longer patterns in quicker succession. Great. That's all. Good luck. All right, we got this, guys. I used to be a pro at Simon. It was one of the most, like, viral games. Like, board games? Oh, isn't it amazing? Mommy oh, she's at the window. Running in years. Mommy can only imagine how excited Bunzo must be. It's been such a long time since... Oh, he's getting closer! To cheer. To <laughs> Oh, oh, he wants to eat me. Oh, that's the Look at his teeth. Good luck. 
Hi, Bunzo. High five. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, let's start Yellow. this already. Yellow. 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 Blue. Yellow. Yellow. Blue. Yellow. Yellow. Oh my gosh. Blue. Red. Yellow. Yellow. Blue. Red. Yellow. Yellow. Blue. Red. Green. Yellow. Yellow. Blue. Red. Green. Am I being timed? Get back up there. Bunzo. All right, here we go. Green. Green. Red. Green. Red. Green. Red. Green. Green. Red. Green. Green. Red. Green. Red. Green. Red. Green. Red. Green. Red. Green. Red. Red. Green, red, green, red, red. Green, red, green, red, red, violet. Green, red, green, red, red, violet. Oh my gosh. Is that all you got, Bunzo? Round three. I'm nervous. White. White? Oh, I see. White They're trying red. to throw in new colors. White, red, four inch. White, red, orange. White, red, four inch. White, red, orange, blue. White, red, <laughs> four inch. Four inch. Oh jeez. White, red, white. Oh no! White, red, four inch. Four inch. White, red, orange, blue. Orange. White, red, orange, White, red, orange, blue, orange, orange. Get back up there. You ain't eating me today. I got nervous on that one. I, I need to. I need to dial in. Focus. Oh, they're changing the colors. J. What? That's not a color. Blue J heart. Blue J heart. Blue J heart. Yellow. Blue J heart. Yellow. Blue J heart. Yellow. Five. Blue J heart. Yellow. Pie. Where is it? Blue. Blue. J. Heart. Yellow. Pie. Heart. Oh my gosh. Oh, what is this? Round five. What? White Land Morgan Show. Okay, buddy. This is a trick. Smiley. <laughs> okay, we're gonna lose on this one. Come on, Bunzo. Wait, what is this? What is this? An emergency stop, maybe? Oh my gosh. I can't believe he didn't eat me alive. That's no fun. It broke. For doing such a splendid job, Mommy has decided to give you part of the code for the train. Oh, how lucky am I? So she get, she's giving us part of the code. Wait, where did she put it? It's right above my head. Okay, I forgot. She has really long arms and really I'm long legs. The game could last a little longer. It's okay, though. Mommy knows other ways to play with you. Okay. Um. Yeah. So she gave us part of the code. So my guess is that the three games that we succeed and she will give us the other three codes. No idea what that is, but I'm, oh, okay. I guess we're going down. Yep, of course. We're probably just gonna have to keep going down. She's really messing with us, isn't she? I'm kind of worried about Poppy though. We need to save her. Yeah, rip that out. First time we're gonna go like really an event here, right? Event where we actually have to crouch. 
Alright, this is giving me like FNAF... FNAF vibes right here from Security Breach. The old vent systems. PJ Caterpillar, you in here? Okay. A new room. So that's a crane. And it's got the grab pack indicators on it. Can we move? Oh, it might need powered up. All right. Do we have to look for power? Yeah, we got some right up here. And maybe I have to power it onto the crane? And then that's going to give us power to like... Wait. Okay. Okay, so that's down. Let me try that. Let me try the crane. Yeah, it's got the power right th there. we go. Okay, now let's grab onto it. And we're gonna pull it. Pick up the dinosaur, maybe? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna run out of power, aren't I? Yeah, it's gonna run out of power. So I have to keep doing that. Oh, wait, it still works. Nice. Oh, maybe we have to pick up this dinosaur. All right. So let's go like that. Let's power it back on. Wait, you know what? I did see... There's a VHS tape in here. Don't I have a tape? I thought we picked up a different tape. Did we not? Maybe we didn't. Maybe that was just the code that I was thinking of that Mommy Longlegs gave us. Oh, duh. Dude, I just looked for so long. All up on, like, all those shelves over there. And I it was just sitting on the ladder. I passed it, like, twice. Here we go. Let's put that tape in. Well, it finally happened. After years of being ignored, the company actually heard all my complaints. Is he sitting on the toilet? They listened to them very carefully. I guess my words must have really inspired them to take action. Because the next day I got demoted down here to the freaking island of Misfit Toy! <laughs> So was he, maybe he was a reject, a rejected toy. Yeah, because I saw signs on those shelves. That they have reject listed on there and he might have been on there. Hmm. All right. Well, that doesn't really help. Let me just try and. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, it's going to pick up the dino. Big old brawn. And then maybe we have to move him away of that entrance so that we can go in there hey buddy you're so heavy so big and heavy we need a gigantic industrial crane to move you out of the way all right Ooh, i don't know which way to go i guess i'll go here that other route didn't really look too promising neither does this we got another little power puzzle okay and where's the Wait a second. This is weird. All right, we're deaf. Oh, it's right there. I didn't even see that before. Okay, so that's going to be number two. That's the final one that we have to hit. All right, so how are we going to do this here? Let me try something here. So what happens? All right, when I hit this. Oh, it doesn't go up. Okay. Wait. Wait a second. Bro, what wait, it was that easy? Oh my gosh, dude, that was like a that was like a mind trick almost. Like it was so easy that it was confusing. If that makes sense. Oh my gosh. I remember when that happened in chapter one too with the steam. Little mini jump scare. That one was not as bad though. Get this chair out of the way. You think that's going to stop me? <laughs> then up. Oh, we got spider webs. Mommy long legs. And then that's where we were. We're, uh, what, what's his name? Bunzo. Let's party. I'll pass, but thank you for the offer. Oh, and then we go back to the train station. Okay, so we have to like do each game maybe and then find our way back. All right, I think I can do this. Whoa, you did fantastic. Who gave you permission to be this smart? <laughs> Mommy is super proud of you. 
but I'm sure she's already told you that herself. Our next game is Wack a Wuggy. Head downstairs and have fun. Wack a Wuggy. Game number two Wack a Wuggy. All right. Oh, we can open this. Is this significant at all? I don't think so. Just some spare, like, storage grab pack arms. I just realized whack a wuggy. What if there's going to be, like, different colored huggy wuggies? Oh my gosh. This doesn't look friendly. All right, Welcome now it's really feeling like Squid Game vibes. This advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your reactionary abilities. A dual palm grab pack will be provided to you for this test. Around you are 18 sizable holes. An adorable huggy wuggy toy could appear at a Oh, of it's like what you have like whack-a-mole. If one comes out, hit it with your grab pack. That's all. Good luck. So that's why there were all those spare grab packs in that storage closet. Here we go. Whack-a-mole is not an easy game when it gets in this game intense. Strings attached to them so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the hmm. children. Hmm. Have fun. Oh, you're going to start it just like just like that. Sounds like they're coming out of everywhere. Right here. Blue or yellow? One of them. Oh, yellow. Get back. Oh, get back. Oh, my. Oh, dude, he was crawling out fast. <gasps> oh, that's creepy, dude. Look how fast they're coming out of the holes. Sounds like he's. Yeah, he's up top. You can barely see him up there. Oh, those are going to be the really hard ones. Bro, the glare from the lighting, I can barely even see those top ones. Oh, they're growling. Oh, this one. Oh, that one almost came out all the way. So when they come out, like, almost all the way, they start growling. All right, the green one thinks that he's as fast as Sonic, and he's not. He needs to back up. Oh, man. This is getting intense. They're moving faster. I, I don't want to play anymore, Mommy. Mommy long legs, please. This is too intense for me. I'm scared. I'm gonna get jump scared. Oh, that one's almost out of the hole! I got so lucky. Oh, he was close. Bro, I can't keep up. Oh, I think we did it. They started moving super quick. Thank you, mommy. Drop the coat down. Is she gonna drop it out of one of the holes? Oh, right here. All right, thank you. So we have just colors. All right. Only one game left to play. Let's go, one more game. Sad. We can do this. Mommy was hoping you'd stay here forever. No, nah, well, I'm good. Yeah, I'll pass on that. All right, here we go. Game number two complete. Now it's time to just find our way back to the train station, I think. I hope. Whoa. Wait a second. Do I gotta... Um, I think I see something up there. I think we're gonna... Wait, do we have to fly all the way up? There we go. Whoa, we can go all the way up. Cool, dude. Oh, I almost fell. Oh, no. We're still good. We made it. There's Cat B. Press the button to feed me candy. Did I say I Cat B? I meant Candy Cat. That's a cat. <laughs> Not Cat B. We haven't seen a Cat B poster yet. Oh, candy Cat. Sorry I messed your name up, dude. There's two cats. One of them likes candy, the other one's a bee. Wait, weren't we here before? 
Oh, there's another puzzle right there. Last time I saw... Okay, so last time I saw this conveyor, we were on the other side. But we were able to get through it. Oh, but everything is blocked off. We, I think we have to do a puzzle. And then this... This door is closed. Is that Huggy Wuggy? Oh, boy. Oh, it's Kissy Missy. Hi. You're not scary. Oh, maybe she's gonna pull the lever down for us. Maybe? She's a little clumsy. Please don't chase me. Oh, I like Kissy Missy. Maybe she's trying to help us. Or she's trying to set us up. I don't know. Yeah, I just like hit, I just like pressed that. And then this one opened and she just started walking out. Ooh. All right, here we go. Here we go. Barry. This is Barry's cart. All right, we have to find the power first. Oh, we're probably gonna have to pull the cart. Do we pull it up? Oh, we can't go up at all. All right, so where is this other... Oh, it's right here. Okay, got a little trial and error here. Let's go ahead and test this out. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh I almost... I almost got splattered. Okay, so we have to take... We gotta take the power off of each one. Cause it's 10 seconds, I guess. And then the, the timer resets. Oh, but that turns off after I do it. So I gotta go like this. Okay. And then we need to hurry up before I run out of power, right? Or not. Oh, and then that. Oh, nice. Okay. Now we're going to have to go the other way, which is right there. And then we have to do the same thing and open up the gate again. How do I turn both of those on to open this gate? That is what I'm not. Oh, duh. We have another one right there. I forgot about that one by the tape. By the, the VHS player. All right. And then we go like this. There we go. Okay, I need to watch this VHS, VHS tape. Ooh, okay, we got through that puzzle. That one just took a little bit longer. 1991. Mind if I film this? Oh, not at all, sir. That's what I like to hear. So, Marcus... What happened? Marcus Brickley. You see, I was heading home for the day when my APARS realized that I left me bloody wallet in the cafeteria. So I'm running through the lobby, and that's when I see it. A mob handle lodged under the innovation wing gate. So what'd you do, Marcus? Well, I just thought I'd nab the bloody yoke and be on me merry way. And? Well, I'm reaching for the thing, and the mob handle jolts on its own. Had me scared stiff. I, I thought I was the only one there. So I, I took a peek beneath the gate, and some massive bloody thing was dothering about the bloody hallway. So he Thanks. saw something, maybe You're like sure Huggy Wuggy? Ain't no person that's 50 feet long with a thousand legs. Oh, Marcus, mommy long legs. Maybe you just saw a bunch of people walking by. Look, it wasn't people, all right? I haven't a bloody notion what it was, but it wasn't human. Who have you told about this? Besides me, obviously. Just you, sir. Obviously. Okay. I'll have security skim the cameras and take a look. What? There's a massive bloody monster! Skimming ain't gonna get rid of it! You're out of line, Marcus. We make toys, not monsters. Now come on, get out of my sight. Actually, uh, grab me a coffee, will you? <laughs> Actually, never mind. Get out of my sight. All right, so next up is this cart. Do we have to do kind of like we did with the crane? Where we pull it because it's on the track. And then maybe it'll go down the ramp and crash through that wood. 
but I can't go with it. Right? Come on, berry cart. Let go. And there it goes. Bye-bye. And then it cra- Okay, and then it crashes right through there. And then that's the only other place that we can go. So this might lead back to the train station. Wait a second. That's a hole. I don't know if I want to be jumping in holes just yet. I don't think I want to go down there either. I think I'm going to pick the hole. Let's do that. Yeah. Looks a little safer. All right, here we go. Game number three. And we have two codes now. Jeez, have you played these before? You're so statues, good. right? With PJ? Like you're ready for the final game, statues. Follow mommy down the stairs one Can't even guess time. what this would be. I hope you had a fun day at the game station. See you next time. No, I didn't, but thank you. This is an interesting hallway. Is that supposed to be PJ Pugapillar? Ooh. This is gonna be the next game, guys. Oh, great. Do you want to play with PJ? <laughs> no, I don't. Caterpillar or Pug? Caterpillar or Pug? I'm crawling on all four hundreds. Mm. I'm hungry for some delicious bones. Do you have some bones for PJ? Oh, he wants bones. So we're gonna go up. All right. We need to grab onto this. We need to uh, crouch slide over to this. Okay, what did that just turn on? I thought I had to do more than that. So maybe, oh, you know what? That. Wait, I hear something. What is that? What is that noise? Oh, I don't like this. Welcome to statues. Oh, jeez. This advanced obstacle course is designed to test your physical endurance and strength. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. Lights off equals However, move. When the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. Okay. You may move again once the lights turn back off. Got it. The lovable PJ Pugapillar will follow you. Lovable. If PJ reaches you, your test. <gasps> He's is right over. there, dude. That's all. Good luck. Go away. PJ Pugapillar. I don't want to play. He wants bones. He is cute because he reminds me of a dog. Oh, thank you for that. I appreciate it, Mommy Long Legs. Thanks for that, uh, words of encouragement. We're already starting. Don't move. Only look. Only look. I don't know what's gonna happen. Probably jump scare? We haven't been jump scared at all this whole time playing. Oh. Oh. Wait, are those, like, monkey bars up there? Oh, wait, I wasn't paying attention. Where was the slide? Oh, my gosh, I almost moved. Oh, hi, PJ. Hey, buddy. I think I need to grab these rings. Oh, man. Where is he? Oh, here he comes. Okay, I'm gonna grab that one. Am I in a ball pit? Oh, I moved! PJ, I was swinging. I promise. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So maybe if you're swinging, it doesn't count. Oh, my gosh. Do I have to go on that slide? Oh, he is. He's really long. Oh, I'm like stuck in the ball pit. I mean, it's not a ball pit. It's a foam pit. He's getting so close. I'm nervous. Are these slides up here? Easy. Yes, please. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. He's getting closer and closer. Go. I can't even see anything. Oh, is he going to go on the slide? There's actually lighting in the slide. That's crazy. PJ Pugapillar! Don't do it! 
I don't see him yet, but if I do, I think I'm gonna be in big trouble. Go! Ooh. Are we almost out? Please. Oh, he's getting so close! He's moving faster! <gasps> Is this an obby? Oh my gosh, dude, it's another foam pit. So, w when you get stuck in the foam, you, like, move slower. Oh! Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe I need to swing. Swing, swing, swing. Hurry up. No, I just have to do this. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, guys, he's getting so close! I moved. I moved. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for moving, sir. I moved again. <laughs> go. <laughs> no, we're moving so slow! Oh, jeez. He's giving me a lot of slack here with moving. I, I've, I've been moving quite a bit. I see something and I might have to... this. Get me out of here. Oh. I'm, I'm going down. Oh, we just took like fall damage. Oh. I know I won. I always win. Oh no. She said she'll pinky promise she'll give us the other code. Well, I'm at a dead end. Thank you, Mommy. I don't want to. Okay, I'm not teasing you. I promise I'm coming back. Please. Don't hurt me. Oh, dude. Wait, wait, wait. We're, we're stuck everywhere. Do I have to go down? Ooh. I'm not! I just don't know how to get out of here, mommy! <laughs> I don't know where I'm at. Oh! Ah, oh, freedom! Mommy's starting to growl and I don't like it. Get me out of here! <laughs> oh man, she is getting cranky. That's Cat B. Meow, 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 <laughs> She's bathing in a big bowl of honey. You a big honeycomb. You were meant to be. Don't make me sting you. I'll Ooh. do it. Don't do it, Cat B. You need to get out of here. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. That Go sounds like... Fun. Doesn't Cat B sound like Poppy? It's like Poppy's same voice. Okay, this is when it gets creepy. Okay, well, there's Bunzy, is, or Bunzo. I think I've been calling him Bunzy. Okay, Bunzo. I'm reminded of his name now, of a clown. He reminds me of a clown. But I think he's a bunny. Bunzo the bunny. Oh. Oh, up. Uh. Okay, so that's gonna bring... Oh, we probably have to grab him. Right? Wait. Yeah, we need to grab him and put him in our inventory, I think, to put him into the toy scanner. So, what does this do? Oh, cool. So that changes the directions like a train track. So now they're going to the left. Let's go up. No, Bunzo! Hold on, dude! You're going the wrong way! Yes, go like that. Oh my gosh! There we go. Come here, little guy. You creepy little bunny. Time to pop Bunzo into the scanner. So you need a toy to have the door open. And it's unlocked. Wait. Like I said last time, Huggy came out and chased us. Ooh, left or right? What is this room? Oh, that's... Creepy. There's like a hospital bed in there. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh my gosh! Yep, I think that was supposed to happen. We're down even lower. Oh my gosh! I asked you to play fair, and you cheated! I hate 
cheaters. Now we're going to play one I didn't cheat. last game. There's only three games. Oh, hide and seek with you? Nine. She's counting down. Seven, six, She's a maniac. Five, I'm a parkour four, champion. Three, two, where am I supposed to hide? So now where are we going? We're still in the hide and seek. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Why does she sound like that? Go up in the attic. Oh! Oh, she got get me! Oh! That was the first jump scare. There we go. Get juked. She can, uh, she can go up there, apparently. Please don't get me. Please don't see me. Maybe she didn't see me that time. Oh, maybe I was making too much noise when I actually made it up last time. I'm gonna wait till maybe the music calms down a little bit. I mean, I'm just hanging here. Are we good? No idea. We need power. Whoa. It's like a big furnace. Cool. The incinerator. What does that do? Oh my gosh. Oh, we have to probably put a mold in to mold a gear. Okay, so we're looking for a mold. This probably, just like when we made the green hand, it's the same concept. Okay, we're gonna slide that in there. So that's what we are going to make inside of the furnace. Because we put the mold in. Wow. Look at that. That looks, that looks pretty real. So where's our mold going to come out? The same spot? Oh, just made like a little chime. Oh, maybe in here. We have to actually walk inside there. And then our mold is right there. Whoa. All right, I'm gonna play it safe and not walk in there. Um. Okay. Where do I put the mold? Oh, it goes in that. Oh, okay, I see. It was just like a straight circle. That makes sense. Guys, I think we're still playing hide and seek with mommy long legs. Why is it every time I say that, <laughs> she chases us? What if we could put her in the fu We probably have to- Oh, and now I'm gonna burn alive. I think it's working. We're hiding. Oh my gosh. Did that actually work? There was nowhere else for me to go. I was actually just gonna see if- if this would like kill me, but apparently not. So she either couldn't see us or she was afraid of it, but she was giggling really creepily. I'm gonna stop bringing up hide and seek because every time I have, she's popped out like immediately after I said it. Okay, that was really cool though, how the fire. It's never ending, oh! Now I, now I don't know where else to go. Oh. Bro. Bro. Go down, go down, go down, go down. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. This is crazy. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Come on, bro. I totally had that. Maybe there's like a swing. Oh, there is. Okay, we're gonna swing. There we go. I gotta be so fast on this. Oh, and then this. Open, 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 open. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, the 
this takes me back to the what I think might be the toy factory. Oh yeah, here's Mommy Longlegs hallway. Oh my gosh. Hurry up, she's coming! Oh, she's running so fast, go! Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna make it. Go. I don't know what to do. Her arm just got stuck. Bro. Get in there! Oh. Huh. I thought that was gonna open a door. It turned on the grinder. Okay. Um. That was a disgusting looking spider thing. Did that thing just take her remains? Was that inside her? Oh, I'm having flashbacks of chapter one now where our little buddy Huggy fell through the bridge here. I guess these are all open for us. Oh, there's Poppy. Poppy. Wait, what did I just... Wait, was there something on her head? I completely forgot about the train code, you guys. I completely forgot. 3124. Press buttons on train console. Wait, I completely forgot about the train code, dude. So... Did you kill her? Yes. Good. I'll board the train. We need to leave. This sounds pretty serious. Okay, we, we, we gotta go. Oh, we're in the train station. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so... Ending, maybe? We supposedly oofed Mommy Long Legs. We put her in the crusher. Yes, we did. Now it's time to board the train and see what's gonna happen. So we can board it from this end now. Okay. Very interesting. So let's get in. Press tab to view the train code, right? All right, so part one. I can't believe it's this tiny. Can you zoom in? Icons must be sequenced out in this exact order. All right, so we have Bunzo, Kissy Missy, Cat Bee, Mommy. Okay, so this should be it. All right. Now, right? Bunzo, Kissy Missy, Cat Bee, Mommy Longlegs. Now for number two. Icons must be colored in this exact order. Red, yellow, red, blue. Oh, so this is how you change the color. Red, what was it? Red, yellow, red, blue. Wait, it was already on yellow. Red, uh, blue. All right, and then the numbers, which was the final code, 3124. Oh, maybe this. Three, what was it? 3124? One, two, four. Let's go, dude! We figured it out. All right. Do I pull the big lever? Does the train need power? Oh, I closed the door first. This is so awesome. We're finally riding the train of Poppy Playtime, and we're getting out of here, hopefully. You already know something's going to happen. Because there's going to be a very intense ending, I'm sure. But what could possibly happen? Is Poppy going to turn on us? I see a green arrow up ahead. This is kind of neat. Thank you. Poppy. Poppy. Poppy! Poppy, it doesn't matter. Well, I want to go home. Too long. I had so much time to think and reflect. Why can't you just I leave with me? Exactly what I would do when free. We'll set things right. Terrible things have happened. 
Poppy used us. That was an alarm. An alarm went off, and it was like she she turned the alarm off. I don't know where we're going. This doesn't look like we're gonna go home. Oh, we're going down like a roller coaster. We're going fast. No, why is there like an emergency? Maybe we're going too fast? Oh, jeez. That's the alarm that I heard. Stop train, warning, unsafe. How do I stop it? I can't, there's no emergency brake. Oh, it's right here. Pull that emergency brake! Ah! Come on! Oh, we're crashing! Oh my gosh, this is crazy. What? So we just crashed the train, hit the emergency brake, the whole thing just flew out of control. I see a play care sign. I don't want to go to play care. I want to go home. Chapter two, flying a web. That was the ending. Where we just, we just get stuck inside the toy factory. Poppy doesn't let us leave. She guides the train the wrong direction. And then we have to hit the emergency brake, and then that flips the whole train over, and then it ends. Unless there's an alternate ending, or unless that was the alternate ending. I don't know. I haven't watched any videos on this game. But, let me know what you guys think. I thought it was amazing. Way better than Chapter 1. It was very, very well made. I had zero issues with the game the entire time, which is crazy, because it didn't cost a lot of money, to really, to play. Anyways, you guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, smack the like button. This is a long one. This is like a movie. Hope you guys had snacks. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.